Shifting number three. Now, when we shift, it's very important that we learn how to shift light and slow, but in practice we need to shift quickly sometimes and often to avoid using more bow or to avoid hearing what is in the shift. Now, we are going to practice a quick and light departure of the shift, but we are going to arrive slowly and more heavily. So this means that you are going to learn to control your arm and finger and hand in the shift. Whatever way you do it, it doesn't matter, at least you need to give yourself a brief. So in this case, I am giving myself the brief to shift quickly, depart quickly and arrive slowly and more heavily. But you can also try the opposite way, just to practice yourself. Let's try the first way. I'm going to shift between B on the A string and E on the A string. First position to the fourth position. First I play the B separately and then the E. Just to know where I come from and where I go to. I need to be very comfortable with these notes in my ear, so maybe I play them a few times. Ah, I'm happy with those notes. Now that's very important. Then we are going to practice the way that we've done in the last video, so light and slow. light and slow. Now I'm going to practice departing quickly. Not arriving yet, but just departing quickly. So in down bows I'm going to play the B and then shift. Did you see my hand moving quickly away from the B? Now I'm going to arrive slowly on the E without playing the B. It doesn't matter where you come from as long as you are slow. Now let's see if we can tie those two together. <laughs> 